I get up to this beautiful ranch. I'm gifted an 80 minute massage. Oh, how is that? I 80 minutes. At a spa. You wa- I walk in, beautiful masseuse there. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, what did I enter heaven over here? And? Well, <laughs> I don't just, tell me you got I it. just actually, it dawned on me what, what happened. So I, I. Do you remember when you got a massage and, she, and the masseuse said, you got a chubby? Yeah. Is this the same kind of situation? Well, I definitely had a chubby, but before I had a chubby, I showed her several issues with my body. No. Well, why not? She don't, well, what, she's not a freaking skin doctor. What are you talking about? She's about to touch my body. She better know all the shit that's going on with my body. You know, I had a lot of skin issues at the time. I think you get this from me because I, too, am always wondering, like, when, when someone's giving me a massage, what if they find something that I didn't know existed? Like, what if they find, like, a lump in my exactly. thigh or something that could be cancer? You, If I were a masseuse or a masseur, I would definitely say, hey, excuse me. You better take a look at this lump. There's, a, there's something you got to get checked out over here. You, so you, I, you, I preempted this shit. I walked in and I said, <laughs> before you do anything, I just need to show you a couple things. No, you did not. So I show her the fucking, scra- the huge scrape on my leg. I said, you might want to avoid that area. All right, that is, that's over. understandable. And then there's this thing on my arm. Well, it, I don't know if the sneaky freaks know what's been going on with my arm. Well, your mother knows what's been going on with your arm. But two weeks ago, I woke up to some, it looked like, it looked like a crater it looked crater. It, it, it was, was a bug as, bite. It was a massive lump on my arm, a huge red bump, and around it was a bullseye. I know because you sent me this and you said, "Is this cancer?" I said I was freaked the fuck out. I didn't know if it was a tick bite. I have I got Lyme disease. I didn't know if it was, uh, you know, a cancerous mole that needed to be immediately <laughs> excised. But you never had it before the day you saw it. So I know no, that's it, concerning. No, it's not because cancer is not going to develop in one, like a day. Well, so I go to her. I go, and I, by the way, I got this thing. You showed that. I showed her, and she goes, "Oh, ah, oh, that looks pretty serious." Oh, this that's is, all I fucking needed to hear. Your heart before must this. have been pounding, freaking the fuck out. I go, I go. Yeah, you know anything about this? I'm ah. starting to look for her. She goes, No. The only thing I know is that if that's a bug bite, when it's got the bulls around it, that means it's a pretty serious one. I, she goes, Are you feeling any sympt- other symptoms? I was like, No, I feel fine. Yeah, oh. should I be? Am I going to be? I, I started panicking. Sneaky, okay. sneaky freaks. You know, this is the episode. This is part of our episode called Anxiety Talk with My Mom. So then somehow. That energy kind of transmutes into horniness. What? For this. You got horny because she she went crazy when she took a look at your bullseye? Yeah, she's uh, kind of acting as a little nurse situation. Oh, she had a vision. It, vision. <laughs> you, went to, you went right to the nurse. It, at one point, she, you know, she's, we're making small talk. She asked me what I do for a living. She goes, are you in medicine? Medicine? I go, medicine? I almost turned around and said, is it because I... It came in with so many ailments and issues with my body. I, she definitely was asking because th- of that. I think so. I think so. But anyway. Who else would do that? So then I started asking her about what's going on in her life. And did she start she, showing you her little bumps and... <laughs> she did not. But here's what she did say. She goes, you know, I come up here for like weeks at a time. And this is uh, my last day. I go, oh, you must be tired. Oh, no, no, no. I, I said, I didn't even say anything. I said, I said, oh, that sounds like a lot. And she goes, yeah, but I only had two today. So... I got a lot of energy. Oh, that's good. That's that's that, kind of sexual. It's sexual. You didn't hear the sexual undertones of that comment. No energy, meaning I got that a lot she's, of energy. What kind healer. of energy? She's a healer. She didn't say sexual. That's it's she, against. I, no, no, no. Per, that's against medical uh, masseuse practices. What do you mean it's against? You don't think masseuses or masseurs are fucking constantly fucking fucking their their people? No, not the. Come on. Not the. Uh, if you're staying at a spa type, they can get in trouble for that. What? Why would they get in trouble for that? Do you remember when I whipped off my? Where was I in Vegas? Oh, you got yelled at. I whipped off my towel and I got yelled at. I yeah. said I had three kids. I'm not modest. <laughs> <laughs> no point in you leaving the room and taking time off the clock. Here I am thinking. She's energy, got energy. So sexual, she's got some sexual pelvic energy. floor energy right there. And that she wanted to do you. She I think I, she wanted to I do me. If everybody... you're listening, but, and then I mentioned the podcast. If you're listening to the podcast, you know, feel free to text us. And tell, tell us if that's what you meant by the energy. I have a feeling she, she now she's going to get all bashful and say she didn't Oh, she's going to get all bashful. Yeah, I don't... She's going <laughs> to get shy because she... No, you know that all masseuses, masseurs talk about energy. They don't necessarily mean sexual energy. They mean like energy in general. Here's what I will say. I've had experience giving massages. 
They're always erratic. What do you mean? Regar- you're, you're, I was at Burning Man once fucking washing people, random ass stranger's hair, basically trying to tuck a boner the whole fucking time. You are not, this it's, is a different, it's not a professional atmosphere I when you're burning I was extremely professional. Man. How is that professional? cleaning the fuck out of their heads. Okay. What heads? Everyone's putting their fucking heads, yeah. What? Everyone puts their heads down, you do a little head wash. You know, it feels like you're going to the salon. You know, everyone's dirty. You're getting all horned up. We got an episode about this years ago. Anyway, 